Now, this is a very, I'm sure you know that there are a lot of multiple sclerosis society of insights in India. I'm not talking of the US, there are post head injury society, etc, etc. There are at least 10 or 15 in, formed in wear of in neurological circles. What is Alzheimer's, dementia, etc. Studies have found that the curse of Alzheimer's disease, for example, the mortality and morbidity is much higher among the caretakers of dementia than of the demented patient themselves. Because it's a tremendous job to look at a patient for several months and years. Mm, societies are now formed of assisting the caretaker on how to manage a patient with dementia. This is the power of information technology. When I prepare for a lecture, sometimes I give lectures, uh, you know, for uh, MCH, PhD students. I don't refer to PubMed alone. I don't look at uh, published articles in the uh, Journal of Neurosurgery. I go to blogs and I learn much more from what one patient has written about what he is. So this is the power of uh, information technology. You can see here. Now, this is what I personally, I told you, I'm delighted. Retrospectively, had I been 40 years younger, had I been sitting in this chair in 2019, with my mental makeup, probably I would have done MD public health rather than doing MCS neurosurgery. As a neurosurgeon, yes, I have contributed like other neurosurgeons, you know, a couple of thousand uh, glioblastoma, head injuries, I had this thing, etc., etc. But whatever it is, 40 years of active neurosurgical career, you can measure it in thousands. If I had gone into public health with technology, policy making, decision, things like this, we could have touched the lives of millions and millions of people. So I'm delighted that Apollo Hospital leadership has agreed on this. We are unfortunately, it didn't succeed the way we were planning. We were originally planning to provide healthcare through 60,000 common service centers. We have still not given it up, but we have had major challenges. So this is the Apollo hospitals, which I would like you people to know. It is not genetics alone. It is not robotic surgery. It is not fetal neurosurgery. No, this probably is even more important than all that. Could you have imagined? I could never have imagined an Apollo logo here in the remote part. I have been to several villages, several remote areas in North India, mostly in North India. And this is what you see. Now, this absolutely thrills me. Sorry, the next one, the previous one. This absolutely, th these are all my staff, ATHS staff, paid by Apollo hospitals who go and lecture to all these people, give it. Now, sir, I wanted to tell you even before, if anybody is interested, of course, maybe you require an MDMS level. And there is so much of opportunity for clinical research. Unfortunately, I'm just not able to get anybody. I would be delighted to share with you. You be the primary author. I have published enough papers. We will be very happy to help you. I could have done studies on this showing their impact analysis, their health literacy knowledge before we intervened and their health literacy knowledge after we intervened. And did it really make a difference in the various parameters in that community? There are dozens and dozens of topics which we could work on, but unfortunately, we just are not able to do it. FDA approves the first blood sugar monitor without the fingerprint. You can see this first digital pill approved about a year and a half ago. One of the major reasons for convulsions is not improper diagnosis, is not brain tumors, is not cerebrovascular accidents, but diabetes, seizures and diabetes. The commonest cause for erratic blood sugar complications of diabetes is lack of compliance and adherence, particularly in diabetes. See, most diabetics are clinically asymptomatic. The blood sugar may be pretty high. So when I have absolutely no symptoms, it's such a bore to take metformin in the morning, metformin in the evening, something, something. So I don't take it. This is where technology comes. Today, I have a digital pill. So when you take the pill, it goes inside Bluetooth technology. And from my stomach, it sends waves. And I know precisely GPRS, etc. This is coming from this platform at this time, this day. And the owner of this pill is K. Ganapati. The K. Ganapati's entire medical records are already available. In case I have not taken my close of metformin today, I get an alert on my smart watch. 
I'm not talking of smartphones. I'm talking of my smart watch. My smart watch will tell me. So all this has already started happening. It's just a question of time before it comes to India. Using digital tools to reach patients is no longer a question of if. It's a question of how. And it's a matter of now. Google's artificial intelligence, Apollo has entered into several um, uh, MOUs with Microsoft and Google. And uh, three days ago, it was announced that uh, HNG, just one and two kilometers from here, Apollo company has been given a grant by artificial intelligence to make an early diagnosis of tuberculosis or to avoid the obvious to the human eye in the case of X-ray. Okay, now we'll come to a few quick.